Hey, what's going on, man? It's your boy Dan Vios and News. Who we got right here, man? Money Ma, nigga, you know what's up. Money Ma, man, where we at, man? In the city. Oh, Ty, we got right here, here, man. Wait, no, Wait, no, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ty, man, it's a long time here, man. It's been like, what, four years, man? man I like, thought it was five. Yeah, five, man. really five for real, nigga. Yeah, I'm old as shit now. I was like 15, 16. 14, I think. Maybe 14. I think 14, 15. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was a minute ago, man. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I still got that old interview on that joint, too, man. Blurry as <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? You Early. shot that joint on a droid or some shit? Nah, I shot it on my camera, but I ain't know how to record shit, so. Oh, bro, that shit was crazy. <laughs> yeah, nah, for real. Like, that shit crazy, man. So, you know, we here for the real questions, though, man. Yeah, but, man, let's get this shit popping, man. Yeah, we here for the real questions first, though, man. But, you know, um... I want first and foremost, man, congratulations on your success, man. You know what I'm saying? We been was gonna lock this interview down, so don't think we was here just for the drama though. You know what I'm saying? But I'm here to clear the air, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, nah, definitely. Nah, yeah. definitely. So first and foremost, man, first and foremost, man, what's going on, man? What's what's the falling out between you and I, man? What what's really going on, man? Man, nah, fit popping ass, old washed up ass. He in a way. Man, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was cool, man. Y'all had, you know what I'm saying? Y'all had the hit little song and shit, man. Uh, bro, y'all he had... mad, bro. He is mad because he can't be with me no more, like, as an artist, bro. Like, he mad because, like, I ain't under his wing or whatever he was considering. Like, right. Like, to be, like, he mad because I ain't fucking with him no more. It's like... He was trying to be a duo. Yeah, like, yeah. he was trying to be a duo. And I ain't never, like, when you never laid that out on the table that we was a duo or nah, bro. Then, like, people telling me he doing interviews or that, like... I ain't even know he was doing no interview and niggas waking me up, calling me like, yeah, ma, nine on the live, like, bash mm -hmm. you. I'm like, damn, kill. Like, we were just going back and forth for the past, since 2017, but like, ain't never was no fallout or nothing. Like, yeah, yeah. It's just like, it was like, it was like, a, it was like a little situation, like, you know, brothers argue and stuff like that, but now it's just like on another level, like, what the yeah. fuck going on? Nah, like, it wasn't like, I don't know where this, I don't know what, I don't know what made him wake up and say, like, I'm gonna talk about Ma on the interview. Like, I don't know where that stemmed from. We ain't right. had no problems before this. Mm -hmm. right. No serious problems nah, or nothing no like that. No serious problems. Like, but, it was never no gunplay or yeah. nothing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna bring everything down. So, like, um, you know, I fuck with Nine and shit like that, but I just thought this situation was just crazy. But how did it start, though? Like, how did this really, really how start? Like, how did this whole falling out between you and I, like, just in general, like... I, like, I told you I got the receipts and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, fuck. Like, you did tell me. It was like, he wanted to, like, what the fuck, like, he was mad because I wasn't posting his videos enough or, like, I wasn't showing him enough love after the fact we did Crunch Time and the OTD link up and all that shit. And I was never OTD, 720K, none of that shit. It was always Gun Squad. Mm -hmm. But, like, he felt entitled to me, basically, like, like, oh, I'm his young nigga, or I'm whatever, I'm under his wing. I was never under that man wing, like. Right. Then we had fell out, like, originally, because he had said his cousin, like, Beano or something, or Dicko or something, saying something about a video or something. I got the receipts for that shit, too. Mm -hmm. The video that had surfaced, that Ant and Nine talking about, I put that out. I put that shit on Vine, bro. They trying to resurface it and cut it. In the sun, man, I ain't. All right, so hold up. You talking about the video when you was like, you know, you was kissing and you put your finger like, up. Yeah, so, was... so hold on, hold on. So the video that you originally put out was um a Vine video. A Vine video. But it got cut in half. It got cut in half. Okay. I was like, bitches be like, and niggas, you know how them, you know. Yeah. And I was never no comedian. I never did no gay shit. Let's clear it. Oh, let's clear this up right here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I never did no gay shit a day in my life. I never did nothing with a fan. I never did no gay shit and caught in no videos. I never wore no girl clothes. I never touched no man junk. I'm not with none of that gay shit. Mm -hmm. That video was put out by me. How the fuck y'all think y'all got the video? Right. If Vine was still here, y'all can look that shit up on Vine. Search up Money Mile. It just ain't never go viral. I wasn't no comedian or, or nothing like that. They resurfaced it. They cut the joint. I was like, bitches be like when they with that. I don't even know what exactly I said. That's how yeah. I was like, How old was you at the time? Because it looked yeah, like, like you was young. I was like nine years old, ten years old. You was nine, ten years yeah, old when nine, that shit came? Years old. That's crazy. That shit, that shit old. So the video came out when you was nine. You, you put it out when you was like ten. You was you was basically a child. I was a young nigga. I wasn't even rapping. I wasn't even think about rapping, bro. I looked totally different, bro. Yeah, nah, definitely. Yeah. And then like you know, you blew up his money ma, 15, 16 years old, whip out the stick and everything like that. Yeah, and I remember when I first got that video, I think I had texted you and I was like, hey, bro, what's up with this video right here? 
you know, um, you know, because I ain't want to be no biased, like unbiased blogger, but I'm like, man, I, I think it's more to the story to us. So I ain't going to post this, man. You know what I'm saying? And, then, and I was like, bro, I look like a child bro, at the time. You know what I'm saying? He look like a kid. So, like, you know, I just wanted to this know what the fuck going on. This ain't the first time this shit. So I explained myself back then. There's videos on YouTube and all that of me explaining this shit, bro. Mm. You're going to hear me saying the same thing. It ain't no lie. This shit ain't no facade. Yeah, facts. Like, no, for real. All that other shit, I'm not justifying, like. Anything with any other nigga, if it ain't me, that's the only thing y'all can say. Other than that, y'all don't got no facts of me doing no gay shit. I never did no, I never did nothing with nobody. Ain't no nigga gonna come to you and tell you I did nothing. Ain't no nigga, ain't no bitch gonna come to you and tell you they saying anything or, or what's up. If you know me, niggas and bitches, y'all know y'all y'all niggas be the same niggas being y'all bitches, calling y'all bitches about me fucking y'all bitches, man. <laughs> this shit crazy. Like I don't I don't play about that shit, bro. Like yeah. that's like look, that's a wild allegation to put out about a nigga. That's like saying the nigga hot, bro. You gotta yeah. go see a nigga about that, bro. That's not nothing to play with, especially if it's false, yeah, bro. It says you. you hear me? So, all right, so now he um he had made a wild allegation. He said that he caught you in the bed. Like basically cuddled up with another man. That's a fucking lie. That was made up. That was for the. That was on top of the video. Yeah. I came up with that conclusion after I heard they was in the background of his interview. See, look, this what happened, bro. OTD Don Bino, he put the battery in nine back, cause I ain't want to do no more features with nine. And the nigga OTD Don got the receipts of that too. The nigga OTD Don Bino, he came home from jail. He was locked up or whatever. He wanted to do some songs with me, but on his time, I'm I'm jive fake. I ain't spending them like purposely or nothing. Yeah, like, you wanted to do the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but you was do, busy. Yeah, I was just busy. Like, and he like, damn, Lord, bro, like it's like that. I'm like, nah, it ain't even like that. But like, you know, niggas try like take charge or like take head of the situation and just mm -hmm. like try perp or like go on you. Like, I don't want to really say that because he ain't do that. But like, he was faking like. So I'm like, all that feature shit, that shit out the window, like. I don't know who you talking to, bro. I'm a grown ass man. You hear me? So, boom. That's probably just like an add on to him putting a battery into his back. And do you know nine and Aunt? They cool, bro. I know Aunt Job is the Aunt Job is the manipulated situation. She was going viral. He ain't gonna do it with just anybody. Like, see, if it was my man and he had something going on, like he ain't gonna post it up about him because he ain't like he ain't nobody. Like it's me. I'm money mom. Like he found the closest thing to nine. And now I found the closest thing he could try and find and just put it together and do that and shit. But all mm -hmm. that shit goofy, bro. Like, okay. And they said, and, and they also brought up in the interview, they said that you had like, it was like a like a gay cousin. And that's Bino. another thing real quick before you continue too. Yeah. That's another thing too. I don't got nothing against no fags or none. I got way too big of a platform to even be playing with the LGBT community mm -hmm. and all that. See either you gay or you not. I'm yeah. not gay. I never did no gay shit a yeah. day in my life. And we don't even mean no offense when you say the F word. We just that's just how we talk. Like I yeah, yeah, yeah. Gay. And that's not even like yeah. how oh, I, no, yeah. I don't even I say gay. I don't even say faggy. I don't even be Yeah, that's just that. that's just our lingo yeah, for yeah, gay. That's but, just our lingo. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't even get the gay people don't even get mad at us out here when we say that. So <laughs> yeah. So basically like he was saying something like, Yeah, a gay cousin or something like that. Do you know anybody related? Yeah, he's Bino said that he had a gay cousin that you was real nah, close with. They said nine said one of my men was hanging with Bino gay cousin. I don't I never hung with he wasn't talking about me. I never hung with no gay cousin or not. Like mm -hmm. I think he do got a gay cousin, but I don't if he got a gay he's saying he got a gay cousin. I don't got nothing to like I ain't had, I ain't go ask my man about that shit. I never mm -hmm. been around no. I've been around Bino back in the day when I was trying to do a feature with Shabazz. Everybody know I was trying to lock in with Shabazz. This one Shabazz and Cutie Food was cranking like mm -hmm. niggas was locking in with them. I was trying to lock in with. I was like fifty when I first started. Did the interview and shit. Yeah. Trying to lock in with Shabazz and shit. I never. I, I was hanging around them. I ain't. Yeah, it's all right. that gay cousin shit. I don't know nothing about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, shit yeah. is made up, bro. Yeah. That shit is just an add on to the video. Mm -hmm. like, that's they plot. Damn, so yeah. <laughs> this shit crazy, man. So, oh, time. What, what, what you think? Uh, Aunt, like prerogative was was with this man because I think that was a crazy allegation. That, you know, like like what was his? What you think, Aunt planned? Did you have any issues with Aunt before this? I never had no issues with Aunt. See, his Aunt problem, like he can't make it in the rap shit, so he doing the like what you call it, the little interview comedian commentator shit. I get it, but it's like. These situations right here that he putting together, like these some dangerous situations. Like mm -hmm. I ain't even worried about all that clout shit and all that, all that niggas going on me. I ain't paying attention, and I just told you I ain't even watched that interview. I, niggas calling me, telling me about this shit. Like mm -hmm. what he trying to do is he trying to gain his fans off doing that shit. So like, of course he gonna 
When I got on live, when you see him when I got on live with him and shit, right? Mm -hmm. He got on live, he tried to bait me. Of course he gonna bait a nigga and he ain't really trying to ask me a question to clear my name. He trying to bait me in and argue with me and then egg the situation on how he egging it on right now. Like, right. He, he can been continuing this shit for almost a week now. Mm -hmm. This shit been about a week now, bro. Yeah. Damn. And then you know him and nine men. Like, mm -hmm. I already knew they was men. Like, <coughs> he telling me I met him at a spot down. So I never, he talking about white Audis and shit. Like, damn, homes, you... Bro, you everything you saying niggas is, bro. You gay, you hot, you tipping them, and you broke. You real just told niggas I drove a white Audi, and what if I was really driving a white Audi, bro? That would have been me right there. Like, this shit ain't, this shit police to me, bro. Like, this shit police. And then I feel like now I'm putting insurance on himself. I don't know what he got going on right now, but I feel like he putting insurance on himself because, you know, this shit going to get serious, bro. And that's crazy. He was really even that bold to even put this shit out there and try and play. So hold on. One thing you did say was um after um one thing you did say was like when the video he said that he didn't know nothing about the video yeah. or anything like that. And you see how in the beginning I just explained that we had the conversation when he texted me and said yeah. his cousin his cousin and his aunt was like yeah they saying the video or something. And then I explained to him it was a van right. Mm -hmm. So how the fuck if you knew. That I had that video out there like that, and you thought that I was on some gay shit or something like that. Why the fuck you was still cool with me shooting videos and making songs with me? And when I I see myself, when I see Money Ma, and I I know he a star and all that. Like I'm confused, bro. And then your man just came home in 2021, 2022, whatever the fuck the case. He DMing me, bro. I'm trying to do the song. I just came home. I'm trying to get lit and all this and that. Like I'm confused, like y'all, like. Y'all got to, like, make this shit make sense. You feel what I'm saying, though? Like, he said in the interview, did he not say in the interview, I never seen that video before. If I would have saw that video before, then me and Lil Ma would have never made no songs. Mm -hmm. It would have never been nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to make this shit make sense, bro. Like, right. he, it's like, he had, like, some, some animosity build up with him already, bro. Because mm -hmm. I wasn't fuck with him no more, bro. It yeah. wasn't even... It, went, and it, it wasn't, wasn't even, even that you wasn't fucking even, with yeah, him. Yeah, it wasn't even that I wasn't fucking with him, bro. We really fell out because he was trying to control the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was trying to like, yeah, bro, you got to repost my shit every day. Like, yeah, repost my shit or like mention me or like, damn, bro. I had a show. He like, damn, bro, why I ain't on the show with you? I'm like, nigga, that's the booking, bitch. I don't know. She just booked me. Like, mm -hmm. and then he telling me like, I got lit off him and I got caught off him. We made cross and that shit did 100,000 views, bro. Like. I ain't catch your wave, bro. You caught my wave, bro. I got lit when I dropped Gucci and whip out the stick and all that shit. That shit ain't come from you. Right. When I did a song with you, my followers ain't skyrocket. None of that shit ain't happened. I'm not giving. I'm not not giving the man his credit. Like I fucked up with him. Like that was real life, my man. Like I looked at him type as a big homie type shit. Like, but how you gonna sit right in here and say a 15 year old young nigga, a 16 year old young nigga manipulate you? A grown ass man. You talking about? He said in the interview like. Yeah, man, he manipulated all of us, man. Like, he manip what? You a grown ass motherfucker, man. How the f what I'ma say to you to manipulate you to think I ain't gay? What the fuck? That's y'all. That's an allegation, bro. They putting that shit out there in the air, and that shit ain't true. That shit false. That's why I came here today. I was trying to clear that shit. With nah, you. facts. Nah, facts. I was bro. trying to talk about the music too, but I'm really trying. Nah, to clear we we that we, shit we definitely gonna get to the music. We definitely get to the music. I'ma as well. say it again though, too. I'ma say it again. You a nigga and you a bitch and you know me, you don't know me, you know I ain't on no gay shit. I never did. I never wore no no bitch clothes. I never did nothing with no nigga. I never played, touched the nigga. I never did none of that shit. Right. That video that I put up, I put that out and it resurfaced on Aunt Glizzy shit. I put that out. The original videos on Vine. I put that out and said bitches be like when they with their niggas or some little goofy shit. I said something like that. They try to cut it and resurface it and blow it up as something that's why I'm money ma. And I never was no comedian. I never played like that. I never did no goofy mm -hmm. shit like that in my life. And that's that. Yeah. Gonna keep talking on that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fast, 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 fast. Yeah. It's just crazy. But um, I'm going to play devil's advocate, advocate on this. You know, I do interviews. I blog. And Glizzy is becoming a blogger in an interview and stuff like that. Do you kind of put it all on him because he just asked a question and nine, you know, put it out there? Or... Nah, see, look. If Aunt Glizzy was like, I already know what type of nigga he is. Everybody know what type of nigga Aunt Glizzy is, bro. Like, mm -hmm. he look, he looking for the play, like the the, the 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 attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you gonna do whatever it is to get the attention. Like, he already knew what he was doing when he asked him those questions, bro. It wasn't no like, I don't know if it was 
I feel like it's on both of them, bro. Because they men at the end of the day. Behind, so you think it was a plot behind against Behind all this Baba Sun TV shit and all that big TV shit and all that, it was a plot between him and Ant. That's wow. what I feel like. like you yeah. feel what I'm saying? Or like at least Nye egged it on to Ant. You mm. feel me? Like Beno put the, uh, the the battery in Nye back to even do that shit. And Nye just told Ant and fished it in and threw that shit in there and they did that shit. Like, right. That's what I feel like that shit stem from, bro. Mm -hmm. They friendship. But mm -hmm. that nigga Ant, bro, he like, I ain't never had no yeah. problem with Ant, bro. I bugged out on him on the live because he was trying to bait me in. He wasn't just trying to ask me no question, bro. Right. I was already peeping that shit. It was 1,500 people on the live yeah. and all that. I was already, he already knew what was going on. Right. He kept talking over me, doing all this other shit. Yeah. I already peeped him, so I shut him down right there. Then he just yeah. left the live on some goofy yeah. shit. I mean, he said the reason why he spazzed out and started going in on you was because he he said that you said fuck his mother. No, I wasn't in that. I think I think you spazzed out and say but fuck Barbara's son. It wasn't in that. I was just I was just going on him saying like, fuck whatever you talking about. Like let's get to the facts. Like cause you saying like niggas asking me. You asking me did I live with nine? Like that wasn't even what the allegation was. You, we talking about some gay shit right now. I'm trying to clear my name. Like, mm -hmm. You talking about all this? Did I live with nine? Then he bonded on GQ and Barbara and all this like. Then he talking about paradise. He bringing paradise in it and shit. It ain't had nothing to do with them. Like mm -hmm. he just he all over the place. So I already I was already hit them. He was trying to bait me in. So I just shut him down right there before he could even like get any further with that shit. I'm like, man, fuck all that. Just bring the yeah, just bring the facts. Like what the facts said and shit. Like what's going on? I'm trying like what's going on? Like what's yeah, up? Like what's facts. next, bro? Like you know me like. Mm -hmm. Nobody, I don't got no problem with Ant Bray, a comedian, bro. He like that big live TV shit. I, I be watching that shit, bro. I ain't, I yeah. ain't bashing him. I ain't respecting him for that shit neither because that shit hot and that shit dick grind. The type of shit he doing, he supposed to be a real like, he supposed to be on some real interview shit, some real Vlad, like not even Vlad TV. He supposed to be on some other shit, some Sean Khan shit, just some better shit like. Feel me? He posted me on some industry so shit. So you, you, you feel like you feel like the type of content he bringing out is messy? Like, yeah, like, like it's on some mess. street shit. Like it's like this shit'll really get niggas plucked, bro. This shit'll really get niggas downed out here, bro. Like this shit ain't no joke. This yeah. shit he asking niggas and shit, and then they get niggas locked up too. Or open up their cases back up. Like, niggas yeah. can't be on that shit. Like, That's a lot of it's, I mean, it's one thing for you to be a grown man and talk, go in there and talk about that shit yourself. If he asks the question, it's up to you to say it. But, like, it's just like him asking them questions, period. Like, he yeah. asking a nigga, like, he telling niggas, like, I ain't gonna say nothing, but what he asking my man, Sneaky, like, I ain't gonna say nothing, but what's the score? Like, nigga, the niggas <laughs> already know what the fuck you saying, homes. Like, That's niggas ain't shit. dumb, but, like, everybody know what you saying, bro. Like, and everybody that's watching Aunt Glizzy, rather they a fan of him or not, they know what type of time he on. So regardless of whatever he putting out there, they know he he there to egg something on or bait a nigga in and make it mm. something that ain't, bro. That's yeah. all that is. No, oh, I can't bro. vouch for other niggas, though. Some of that shit be true. That shit he trying over here ain't true, though, bro. Yeah, facts. Nah, for real. So it was. I'm going I'm to get off of this, and we're going to get straight back to the music part. We're going to talk about everything we're going to. But one last question, though. Uh, let's, let's get a clarification of this Livingston Road shit, man. You know What's what I'm saying? Man? Cause uh, I think there was some DMs and shit and saying, "Oh, that nigga's not from Livingston. He from Maryland." And yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna remind you, I did the interview around Livingston. I did it on around South Cap, right hey, around the corner. Yeah, you know we was right there on. with Livingston. We was in the trenches, right hey. there on. You know what I'm saying? But they know, they know where the fuck I'm from. I just told yeah. you this off camera, like they know where I'm from. Like I heard the nigga aunt say something about like I went to PR hers and. I went, nigga, I went to PR Hearst, nigga. Nigga, I went to Lackey up there in Southwest, on the Southwest side of South Capitol, nigga. I went to motherfucking NCP, nigga. I was right there on 3rd and Livingston, nigga, when I was a low-ass boy, when I was a baby in a trap, mm -hmm. nigga. I don't, was it a situation you moved or something? No, nah, it was never no situation I moved, nothing. I was in and out from Livingston to motherfucking... I was in and out from Livingston to Wingate, bro. You know what mm. Wingate said, yeah. bro? I was over there staying with my mother going to summer school in Wingate. It was never that. Only time I ever went out, Merlin, was with my godmother. That was it. And there was never no full year or no longer years in my life in D.C. living over there mm. than over in D.C., bro. Yeah. I'm really from D.C., bro. I was born in Greater Southeast D.C. Hospital, bro. Right. All this shit is on my birth certificate, my social security, whatever you want, like... My ID, whatever, bro. This shit mm -hmm. here, bro. Like, all my folks from D.C., my father from D.C., the gutter, Bellevue, bro. Whatever you call that shit. Washington Highlands, all that shit. Fourth, third, sixth, all that shit. We've been around all that shit. That's mm -hmm. my side right there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My cousins is originally from Livingston, bro. They don't be on no rap time. They really put money into that Duffy Gang shit. And, like, they, they was putting money into that Duffy Gang shit and that. 
and that all that other shit that that forty six twenty eight shit like that lrg shit yeah, yeah, yeah. i remember like, lrg yeah That's like they was saying, really yeah. they was really putting money into that shit them niggas is older they big homies and shit they not on no internet right now, right if i call now. my folks my cousin my grandma and them tell them come do an interview and tell them how i'm from livingston or a document they gonna look at me like boy what the fuck is you talking about like you know, you know where you from, from? Oh, like God. you know where you from ain't nobody like them. don't nobody know them busters outside that's hanging outside that's not even from how me. did that uh start though because it, it it does like that livingston road east over that 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 little borderline it's just seemed like see, look, everybody from everywhere is kind of and it's, it's not a night it's not baby nine it's not and it just seemed like everybody from everywhere be at that gas baby station nine or being that even from there bro yeah and i've been down there for some years but he not even from there like yeah. and he was never nobody like he, he said that's another thing too my bad i'm i keep being on topic but yeah it's just a few things he said in his interview shit niggas telling me he said like he said some shit like uh them boys knew not to argue with me or say nothing to me about what I said on the internet because they know I knew about them boys for so long. You just said, you just said you ain't know nothing about no video or nothing, bruh. You just said you ain't know nothing about no video. Like, you got to put this shit together and make this shit make sense. Like, real live, bruh, he ain't even no serious nigga for him to even be saying that. But you know I told you, I showed you the proof, right? Yeah, yeah, I showed you the proof right or wrong. Like, yeah, we ain't gonna sit here and cap. Like, if you don't want to throw it up on the screen, you could just say it. I'm gonna let your word be the bond of that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like you want, you want, like you saying that shit. Like, I, I, we was going back and forth since 2018, since I blew up off with about the stick. Like this December 2018, we've been going back and forth about him repo, me not reposting this shit, me not working with OTD artists and all this yeah. goofy ass shit. I was cool with OTD. I was cool with them all the strength of nine, and I was trying to do a feature with uh Shabazz and then when he was OTD, you yeah. know. You know I mean? But now I wasn't no serious nigga for like, you know what I mean? He wasn't, he not from, he from out Merlin somewhere, Tooley Street. He don't even be where he from. Yeah. I ain't saying he ain't from there, but he don't nah, even be yeah. out there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you getting took for bad on the hand. I ain't, I ain't go up on Ant Live. And I ain't go to the DMV hood and new to tell him how he got strip button. I ain't that saying, I ain't hold that against him. Why the fuck would you hold a gay allegation against a nigga? What the fuck? I mean, this shit, this crazy. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. I, I mean, I wish there is a solution to this. It's probably like up right now. Like, but nah, look though, that gas station shit. I'm not even from no gas station. I'm from like, like where the bricks at. Bro. Yeah, where the, the building. Gates at, like, forty six twenty eight, bro. Like, mm -hmm. forty six thirty two for real, for real. But forty six twenty eight. That's and your. You say forty six thirty two is your building. The building in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Forty six twenty eight, like the 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 heart of that shit, like the, mm -hmm. you know, like. Right there with that shit, bro. I'm from there. I'm from the bricks. I'm not from no motherfucking gas station. I never... That shit, that shit was new to me. At first, I was at the shell. Like, we used to be in the back of the shell, in and out through the neighborhood. Like, we ain't like niggas that tell you that. Like, my yeah. man Duffy Domo would tell you that. That's his cousin. He'd tell you that. Like, niggas did, done, did shit for that junk. Niggas done put in work, did all type of shit for that junk. Like, uh -huh. this ain't no something niggas just claiming. I ain't hop out there and ask nobody, can I be from nowhere? I ain't ask nobody none of that. Y'all read that message. That shit don't say nothing about me asking to be from nowhere. I knew where I was from mm -hmm. since I was a young nigga. So it, I think because I saw the joint too, it was saying that oh yeah, you know I'm trying you know fuck with I Duffy gang. Know, I don't even know who that message is to. Yeah. Like, I don't even know who that message is to, because that Duffy gang shit don't stem from whoever the fuck that was. That shit stem from my cousin. Mm -hmm. So I don't got to ask, no, it probably was with some music shit, or like, mm -hmm. we was supposed to collab or do something, and that's just me being a young nigga asking off the, off the strength or something, because I ain't never rock with them niggas too many times. Like, I'm talking about, like, yeah. The real hood shit, like fuck all that. That ain't had nothing to do with nothing. I never asked to be from no live. I nigga, I knew where the fuck I was from. I'm from Livingston Road, straight mm -hmm. up. Yeah, 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 facts, facts. You, you talking about this from a knee high, like when you was young. Yeah, bro, like it is. And I think I think that's what it is, cause a lot of dudes. I say, got oh. baby pictures around there, bro. What the fuck? I like. I, you could pull it. You could pop this shit on the screen. You could pop the receipts and the baby pictures. You could pop all that. The messages with nine. The messages with Don Bino asking for the features. The message. You could pop all that shit on the mm. screen. Yeah. You want to take your time and edit that and do that? You can do that. Yeah, All right, so what we could do to, cause you know I'm a solutionist, man. I don't want just, I don't want the, you know, I don't want the DMV, I don't want the city, I don't want the artist, you know, I don't want niggas beef with each other. I don't want this to go up to another level. What can we do to squash this? Can can we have a boxing match? Can we do something like? Can we do something, or you just say you can't go your way and I'm gonna go my way? Bro, I ain't even look, bro. I don't even be into that, into that shit, like. I wasn't even going to do this interview with you, to be right. honest with no, you, fact. bro. Like, I just fake wanted to put that shit out there only because that shit went on at platform, bro. Like, I ain't with no boxing or none of that. Why? Well, they got to pay me, bro. 
Yeah. They gotta pay me. I'm saying, I'm saying, if the money on the line, man, I ain't say doing that, but I ain't in a squash and none, bro. It's some serious shit right here, but look, that's what I'm saying. It's like a nigga saying you hot. You know you gonna go see about that in the whole world, like damn this nigga how was fucking with a woo woo damn da da. You no gonna go see about that? that you know how to end that? No paperwork or none. Yeah, yeah. You know that man ain't hot. You just really hating on that man, like Dick nigga gonna come see about that, bro. Ain't no yeah, boxing yeah. or no squash, no beef. This shit over, boy. You took it over, boy. This shit different from when we been arguing for all the years and shit, like all that keep going back and forth in the DMs about reposting music and all this other shit, bro. He just a old head, bro. He washed up. He popping that fit, bro. He fucked up, bro. I ain't. I don't got nothing else to say to him, bro. Mm -hmm. You been telling his eyes he was lying, bro. I don't, come on, bro. What can they come up with other than this goofy ass video shit? Mm -hmm. I done explained myself a million times about this shit, and there was never no other proof in the pudding with this shit. Mm -hmm. But besides what the fuck I'm saying, bro. Mm -hmm. These bitches know. I know they gonna watch this interview. These bitches and these niggas, they know, bro. They gonna watch this, y'all. Be like, mm -hmm. kill. I do be the same nigga calling my bitch smacking around because Ma be fucking her. Maybe you not gay. <laughs> bitch ass niggas. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, so so old 10-year-old Vine video, man, calls a bunch of bullshit. I don't man, give a man. fuck. And look, I don't even give a fuck how. It don't matter. It don't justify none how old you was. When you young and you... I knew, I knew. I been there when I came out that wound there. I was bound for that pussy, boy. I don't play that. Yeah. <laughs> fuck is you talking about, boy? You ass, I don't play yeah. that shit, bro. I don't, I don't even play like that, bro. Bro. Mm -hmm. I didn't grow up around nobody to even be playing like that, bro. Mm -hmm. It wasn't looked at like that at that time. It wasn't no, I said bitches be like, it wasn't no, I just did that. They try to clip it up and clamp it, it up and do that shit. Wait till I get, a, yeah, man, that shit. I don't mm -hmm. even, whoever found that they clever, they very clever. Whoever had that and did that and captured that and was like, oh, you on some other shit, they very clever. Yeah, yeah we working on the music side, oh, man. You know, I want to make this all about drama and shit like that too, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? So what's been going on with the man? I seen you blowing the fuck up, man. Yeah, Link it up with the up, celebrities man. and all this shit. This is what I really wanted to come here for the interview. I ain't really, I really came here for the, the success, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember, remember me and you was in the interview room and you know what I'm saying. You, you like, you ain't even had twenty dollars to your name. You know what I'm nah, saying? For real, like I was fucked up by that Tommy on. When the, <laughs> bro, I was a young nigga, bro. You don't even know. Like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This shit feel good, like. I'm, I'm thankful for the position I'm in right now. I could be somewhere better. I'm still working to go better, but I'm, I'm, I could have been somewhere worse. I yeah. could have been, I could have been one of these goofy ass sneak dissing niggas at man. Could have been in a position right mm -hmm. now. They ain't working too well right now. So they you had ain't to dropping no bangers. They yeah. hit. You know I know you me? just got out your deal with Empire and shit like that. You went straight yeah. in there. I'm, I'm actually, I'm not right now. I'm, I'm out of the deal, but I ain't a fit. We ain't do the termination release for them, so it's like it's, it's papers with that shit. Like, mm -hmm. It's paperwork. So yeah, that's why I ain't really been dropping no music or dragging or nothing like that on the gram. I just been really cooling it for real, cause. I can't really drop till like January, and it's a lot with that shit. But it's yeah. not no, it's not no bad shit that's holding me back. Like you know when they put mm -hmm. artists on the shelf and shit, like it's not nothing with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is over with. We just gotta get these clearances for these producers and artists, and then that's it. Like mm -hmm. we done. Yeah, we back, fine. we back on that distro. I really ran it up from distro kid. I love distro kid. Shout out to distro. Like <laughs> I forgot who put me on to that shit. It was somebody with a label. Like when I had was doing label me as a shit, but. Thankful for that shit. That shit, I ran it up off that shit. You said ran it up off this row, huh? Yeah, I'm looking sweet now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That fast. shit ain't none. This shit is all. So you gonna go? So you so you saying like once everything is officially done, you gonna fully go 100 percent independent? Yeah. Uh, like I don't know. Like if if, if labels want to reach out to me and do all that, like they want to holler at me, reach out to me. Mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, you I'm can work that out. You feel me? As long as it's something mm -hmm. correct. Long but it wasn't no issue with Empire. Nothing. It was no issue with Empire. It wasn't even like it's still an independent label deal. Like you still receiving your money. You you got your royalties. You got your masters and all that shit. Like. Mm. You feel me? It was just, it's like a push. It's like a push. Like, right, right, right. You feel me? It's just like a yeah, little push. Yeah. They just got a little percentage of like what you drop with them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a small percentage. Like, you yeah. got the overhead. But even with them, with, with, like, if they gave you a better deal, say they give you the major push. Like, say they give you the money, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, like one of like, those. Like, would that and be I something trying, that would be okay? I was trying to get to like one. I was trying to get to like money, man, jack boy position type shit. Because, you know, Gazi, I know Gazi personally, so like, he told me how he picked up Jack Boy and shit. He found him from jail and shit. They built a genuine relationship and shit. He got him out. Did the right thing. Like, yeah. Same thing with Money Man. He fucked with Money Man hard. I was trying to get him in one of them positions. But, like, it's like, you know, Gazi, he, he a very smart man. Like, he like one of them crypto type niggas. So, mm -hmm. he just different. He be doing a whole bunch of different shit. So, I know he ain't got time for all this artist. But if it would have took to that point, I knew I would have... You know, I would have did that day. Yeah. But you know, it was it was, yeah. it was some little errors. It was some little errors with like A and R and shit. But like other than that, it wasn't really nothing. 
Mm -hmm. doing nothing to it so you just feel like right now i could do the same thing i'm doing yeah because you know they not even for promo anyway well they kind of they yeah they for marketing but they not for promo like for you to be like you know like a major label promo mm -hmm. push like, yeah yeah, yeah facts. so that's why they still kind of like an independent record yeah label. so with empire you kind of like in your deal with empire you most likely got to push yourself. You know what I'm saying? For, yeah, for real. But you know, you was linking up with everybody. Asian dolls, Stunner. Yeah. We all cool. still locked in. Y'all still locked in and shit, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's your relationship with her, though? Asian doll. Yeah. She cool. Like, she cool and shit. I fuck with her and shit. Like, we be thugging. She come to the city or VA. Come fuck mm -hmm. with us and shit. Yeah. She I think people give her too much of a hard time and shit, man, on the internet. Ooh, shit, Asian man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I be trying to leave her alone when she be going through her little shit. I don't be wanting to be saying on top. I just be telling her to keep her little head up and then, like, other than that, I don't say nothing to her. Cause yeah. Like, I don't want her to think I'm on some human. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's just cool, you and her cool and shit, yeah, man. We cool. Yeah, nah, we for bro. real, man. What's one thing you can learn, man, ever since you, you started blowing up, man? You know what I'm saying? One thing I learned? Yeah. Bro, that's a few things I learned, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I learned how to, like, not... I learned how to not, like, pay attention to certain shit, but, like, not even as far as, like, in the... In the... And, like, with the shit that's going on, like, in a different way, like, in the industry way, too, like... People be having their opinions and shit. You just gotta keep pushing with that music shit. Though. Like people have opinions on it on your music. Like it might be times you drop a song that shitty, drop a song that's good. You just gotta keep dropping that shit though. Mm -hmm. like, that's how you got update. Like you gotta do this shit with the genuineness. Like when I like that's one big thing I learned. Like when I was doing whip out the stick and Gucci and shit, that shit was like all genuine. Like it wasn't for like oh what I'm about to drop for my fans next and like mm -hmm. it was just what I was doing. You feel what I'm saying? Like yeah. oh I'm gonna switch it up and all of that. But like. Now I like I had went through that phase and shit and then like it kinda like set me back a little bit because I was dropping shit people ain't really want. Like people wanted that real mod like that back there, my like that old mm -hmm. shit. So I started like gravitating back towards that and just started like doing that shit again. But I learned from that shit. I ain't gonna lie, that shit just set me back. Like I was just like cooling for a little bit. Like niggas wasn't really talking about me too much or nothing like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't like it wasn't a hype or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. What you think what you think you gotta do to uh get you like like, cause I, 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 cause I, I, one thing about you, I think the, the, you never really fell off. It's robbers that really completely yeah, fell off. Yeah, fall, fall off Lead, and shit. But and I like, think your bud just goes up, then it goes down, then it goes right back up. Yeah, you know what I'm I saying? think it's, it's stem from like me, like not being consistent and like not dropping my bangers back to back. Like I be on some like, no, I want to drop this cause I feel like this is that money mod that they want. When that's really not that mod they want. Like they just want a, a cranking song. Mm -hmm. Like you feel me? So yeah. that's why I feel that shit stem from like, I dropped. Mix it, you feel what I'm saying? That when I went crazy, like I was yeah. going crazy for like this, these whole two years. Still now, yeah, yeah. shit still going crazy, like TikTok and all that. Yeah, yeah. from 2020 to 2022, yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah. whole little two year process. That shit been going on TikTok and all that. Like, mm -hmm. see now, I feel like I'm not, I haven't dropped no music since then that was like really a banger, and I could really say that like 2021, 2021, not even the whole 2022 for real. Like I dropped shit that touched the M, but like. It wasn't nothing that really like was like out mm. there to the world like the West Coast and all that shit. Mm -hmm. like, so I feel like now I'm just cool and like they just waiting on to see like what I do next. I just gotta do something big. I can't keep shooting in the hood and doing mm -hmm. all that. Like you feel me? I just gotta show them what's going on. Like, mm -hmm. what I really got going on. I just don't be trying like my mindset just a little different. I don't be trying to waste money on something. I feel like it's not like me. Mm -hmm. I don't be trying to fake that shit. I just want to do what I want to do with this shit. Mm -hmm. Like now it's just a little different. Music different from like four years ago. And shit. Right, 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 right. So you just basically grown as an artist, and now you kind of like in a transition because basically at that time you was a child. You know what I'm saying? Not a yeah. child like you were a kid, but you know what I'm saying? You was, was young. Though. Yeah, you was young. You know what I'm saying? You, you was young. You was trying to find it out. Now you kind of have an idea of everything. And that was about like putting everything in like you know and programming everything is focused. Yeah. At. So yeah, like what's like what's right now a situation where you feel like could, like right now you're about to be fully one hundred percent independent. What what is one thing you think you need to do? You know what I'm saying? Uh, see, I ain't gonna lie. Like I need to like it's like now it's like how people view this shit. Like I I become. 100% independent. It's kind of like I'm telling you my plan right now. Yeah, you don't wanna, have to tell the whole I don't plan. I do that, but like, it's like, what I'm going to do is, it's like, you got to show, it's you're like, you got to show what you about to do. Like, I'm going to drop a single, but like, I got to do it in like a, 
a movie cinematic ass type of mm -hmm. dramatic ass type of way. Like you see how all this shit going on right now. I'm supposed to be loading that shit up right mm -hmm. now, making that shit look so sweet and putting that shit together right now and dropping it like mm -hmm. just so I could. Cause my plan is I'm going straight back to Distro Kid. Like they got all these new features, these new promo features that labels was offering and shit like that that you can do on your own now that I don't even need no more. Like I could just go to Distro and do this shit. Or like mm -hmm. I can do this shit on my own now that I learned some shit while I was with them. Like. It's just like I'm in the process of just going up there, bro. Like all mm -hmm. that shit is there. Yeah. All that shit there. That's what I'm saying. People don't be knowing it be like little you don't see it all the time. It be little life shit going on. Like yeah. besides all this music shit, like legal situations and shit, like paperwork with labels and like all like the lawyers and all that little mm -hmm. cool shit. Like it be little shit going on behind the music. Yeah. It's a process, bro. Yeah. But they, like you said, man, you, you prepared for the worst right now. So, yeah, you know facts. I got all bangers, like all unreleased bangers. Like, I'm ready to drop. That's all it is. You know Your music got to be there. Nowadays, all you got to do is make some dumb shit. I don't even got dumb shit. I got yeah. real music, but I know. Like, you know the song I thought was going to blow? Like, Blow Up Low was Dirt Eyes, man. That was my shit. I was laughing like you shit. I uh, thought I like, you know what I'm saying? It be what you do with that shit. Like, yeah. it, it got that potential. Like, you can still do that shit. I can still do that shit right now. It's just like. Wow, like, just move on to the next fucking... Yeah, just move to the next. Because, like you say, if you ain't consistent, you, you focusing on one single, you, you know what I'm saying? You just got to keep working. Yeah, you just got to keep working till you get to that one... And boy, it definitely there. brought great attention, though. Like, it, from TikTok, Instagram, from all the... From your promo, mm -hmm. all that shit. Like, people yeah. from different places start following me. And shit, yeah, so no, 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 classic. Yeah, man, so whole time, man. You got any new, uh, new singles, anything else on the way, man? Uh, no, I think the last album I dropped was Virgo in August around my birthday and shit, but... Mm -hmm. I told you, like, man, January, let's just say 2023, man. That's mine. Right mm -hmm. there. Snatching that motherfucker. So you say, you say the city going to be yours again, man? Yeah, man. City mine, bro. This yeah, shit yeah, mine. Facts. They can't take me out, man. See, they can't play. See, one thing about this internet shit, this shit, I don't let this shit get to me, bro. Like, I don't let this shit get to my heart. They can't fool me. They can't. They can't. You can comment whatever you want on my page. You can say whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Believe in me, don't. This shit ain't gonna stop me from doing nothing, bro. You hear me? Mm -hmm. bro. Man, I'm definitely glad you still in good spirits, no matter all the bullshit that's going on and all this shit yeah, going I on. I don't never let that shit assassinate my character. Could never. Now, if that shit was true, it was to be a different story, my boy. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Shit would be totally different. You hear me? If it was mm -hmm. something else going on, that shit would be totally different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, no questions. No questions, man. Shit. I got a question. Do you think you think Aunt Glizzy platform is biased? Like, it, you think he just has his picks and shoes? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I believe his platform buys. Because when I threw this shit up at nine and them, on some Ray Rice, Marshawn Lynch, Jacoby Jones shit, nigga ain't threw it, throw that up on the gram. He telling me what nigga supposed to do. What nigga supposed to do? They supposed to stand right there? I mean, he did. He, he went on live, you know. Spazzed out on you and he did deny the allegations though. But you saying something else about him getting yeah back. yeah him being back. I'm about to show he you right now. Oh back. shit, you got evidence? Oh, what the fuck going on? I don't be like I don't be on no tip and shit or no hash shit or nothing, bro. I'm just I'm just trying. You need to put this. That's why I told you, and why you need to put this shit up on the screen, bro. <sighs> or you need to do something with I this. Shit. I ain't trying to sit right here and be on no. And glizzy shit and talk about what you know what I mean. I ain't doing that. I'm just saying y'all gotta stop with this shit. Like all this shit is because me and him ain't locked in no more. You could have just left it at that, bro. Like let that shit fly out the yeah. window. You think you think he could have just if he would have just left it out? You know we had a falling out, but you know I wish nah, the best for him if he was just on that type of time. It ain't even that, but because, because but before that we was always still talking. We was showing each other love 2022 and 2021, bro. That's why I'm confused about like the last time we talked. It was never no smoke or none. It was never none of that. It yeah. just came with the Aunt Glizzy shit and it was that. Yeah. I ain't, bro, you don't even know. If this would have happened something like, like, some like years back, not even this allegation shit, but like if we would have argued about something else and it got this serious like how it is now, mm -hmm. you don't even know. I really would have said, I probably would have sat down with him, bro, because we done argued so many times and it got serious, bro. Like, but this nigga down my way knowing he going to run into me. So I, when I run into him and he say he... No, I just love you, little bro. I just want you to get out of this shit, and I want you to bring me with you, bro. Just bring me with you, bro. That's all Facts. you got to do, bro. Facts. I ain't asking for nothing else but for you to bring me with you, bro. And I ain't I ain't bashing that. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, you just want way out. You, you feel what I'm saying? saying? But you ain't like, it's just, it's, it's, it's like, I don't know how to explain this shit, bro. Like, I ain't mm. your, like, I'm not your, like. You was never my assistant or whatever the case may be. You was never under my wing, and I was never under your wing. We just... Locked in, and that's mm -hmm. what it was. I, I guess at the time he just looked at you as little bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, bro. Only cause you older than me, I could say all that little brush shit. But you never sunned me. You never 
put me in no position yeah. or money in my pocket for me to be winning. You never made me who I am. It was never none of that, bro. Yeah. It was never none of that, bro. I had my own thing going on before all this shit. Yeah. This shit is proof in the pudding. You want to go look on YouTube, Money Mile 2016? My brother shot my videos. Yeah, on the iPhone. My brother shot my videos on the <laughs> iPhone. Down my way. Down my way. Yeah. Down my way. Bro. I wish I wish you kept up with that shit though, cause you yeah. you see Cole Bennett and that all shit, them niggas nah, they using iPhone. Shot, yeah. yeah, they they doing that motherfucker on the iPhones now. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying, bro. No funny, bro. Serious nigga, bro. He stay out the way. But like when it come down to this shit, like we don't be like trying to sound sweet or nothing. You know, niggas like like they know how to sound sweet on the end of mm -hmm. shit. Like I don't know how to get on live and sound sweet like purple and all that's trying to sound like I'm serious, like make people believe I'm serious. So what I'm gonna just show you I'm serious. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's like how bro is, bro. We them type niggas, bro. We ain't on that trying to mm -hmm. purple none. Like what I put in my music, that shit real. Like it ain't no this ain't no like I don't be saying too much of none and I don't say no less of none. This shit mm -hmm. is what it is, you hear me? Niggas stay on they you hear me. Niggas bad stay on they tent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say no names in this situation because I think you said you didn't really want to like speak too much <clears throat> into this situation. But I do want to have a I do have a question on this situation. This is before we go, um, you know what I'm saying. I know you had a falling out with another robber and stuff like that, right? You know what I'm uh -huh. saying. You had another yeah falling out with a robber, but it was because he you did an interview, you did a, a song, I guess assumed with his ops. You know what I'm saying or whatever, whatever, and that caused a whole falling out between you and that artist. You know what I'm saying. And my thing was, I just looked at it was you was just on business time. You was trying, you know what I'm saying. He was on business time. Yeah, like, boom, boom, boom. Not even like that I was like really on business time, but like how I saw it, it wasn't no picking no sides with this shit. I wasn't yeah. never picking no sides. Like my not like, mind you, yeah. I never you know you know everybody know if everybody know in the interview, they know who you're talking about, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Was, like, I never been up there to hang up there a day in my life. I never yeah. been up there. You were just cool with him at the time. Yeah, on some music shit. Like we was locked in on some music shit. His big homie, bro, was trying to sign niggas and shit, do that. You know my man, Moochop, that's his cousin and shit, like they cousins mm. and shit, like yeah, they good yeah. cousins. So that's how I even like locked in from being around them and shit. Like, mm -hmm. And then like, but that shit with bro that I did the song with, that was like, yeah, it was some business shit. But we had end up really locking in, like mm -hmm. we had actually really end up locking in after this situation. Like it wasn't yeah. no off, and it wasn't off no cause of the situation. It was just some whole deep street shit that just went on. Like you had a had, you had you had a relationship with him, and you had a relationship. You know what I'm saying? You had a relationship with both artists. It wasn't even and it no was just like it wasn't even no relationship to. Whereas though, like, like it was like, bro, it was just really, it really was just some rap shit to be honest with you, bro. Like, I never, we never hung with each other outside of none pertaining to music, bro. Like, it was never that. Like, I ain't gonna lie, though. I think like we had some little, we had a few shows together. Like, we had a show together. We had three shows together. Mm -hmm. We had Fillmore, and then we had like a little jump with NLE Chopper and shit. Mm -hmm. I don't even think he had Fillmore. I think he had just came to like support. But like, other than that, though, like the shit with other Brian when we made the song and shit. That was just on some business shit, but like we had end up really locking in. Like mm. I got to really know niggas and be around niggas. We really started locking in and shit. Mm -hmm. And then boom, that shit had like stemmed to the end, had went to the internet. And that shit on the internet had happened with bruh. So that's how we really ever even started beefing. I told you because he was saying like, yeah, it's going to turn into, it ain't even that you did the joint with him. It's just, it's going to turn into, you going to start dissing them with me and I mean, you gonna start dissing me with them and all that, and I ain't ready for that on bruh. Then bruh start getting smart on Lord, you hear me? Like, if this one be up there, it's gonna be up there. He already mentioned me, I was gonna Kirk off that, but it wasn't, I was like, I'm gonna talk to this nigga, you hear me? Boom, but he was already just too wild minded, like, he was loose with it. I'm just like, mm -hmm. like man, fuck that nigga, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you hear me? Like, then it turned into that, but you don't even know the whole shit with that. Because I think the reason why I brought that up is because, do you feel like, do you have to have an obligation to pick a side or something? You know what I'm saying? What you mean? Like, you have to have an obligation to pick a side when you start rapping, you blow up, and it's these group of rappers, they live. I don't it's even think group it's that. It's like, to me, it's like, I fuck with who I fuck with. I never, common sense to tell you, though, like, just like, if you in the streets, you a street nigga, you ain't gonna go fuck with nobody ops, bro. That's not, you don't do that. Mm -hmm. right? You don't do that. Like, if that's your man, you don't do that. You don't go do that. You don't yeah. go fuck with nobody ops. Or if you linking with them and you hanging with them and you fuck with them, you don't go fuck with nobody else. That's just law right there. But me on my end of the stick, I'm saying though, like that's how that's what I run. I don't go fuck with nobody, man. If, if, like how me and Cruddy and I'm like, I never go fuck with their ops. Never. Mm -hmm. And it's the same way with them, vice versa. Like it's like we you know we all don't fuck with the same, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't throwing them in there, but like, you know what I'm saying? That's just an example. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I don't I ain't on that, bro. I don't be on no goofy shit like that. You never go do no shit like that, bro. Mm -hmm. That's just how the streets go, bro. 
Mm-hmm. Mm, no, I, don't, no I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I feel as though, like, this how this shit go, bro, like, if I'm fucking with who I'm fucking with, I'm not never gonna go fuck with they ops, bro, that's it, mm-hmm. that's what it is, like, I don't, it's never, we was, like, we locking in, or we might lock in, or we mutual, and I'm not picking no side, it's just, that's who I'm fucking with, like, right, right, right. we locked in, we ain't never had no problem, why the fuck am I gotta pick it, why I gotta pick it, it's just, I fuck with right, you, like, I wouldn't even gonna try to get back to the drama, but fuck it, it is what it is, man, Nah, it's but up. you got, nah, but this joint might gotta be 50 minutes long, uh, uh you know what I'm <laughs> this shit gotta be laid out, and they gotta see what's going on with this shit, the real <coughs> shit, mm. it's like, it's crazy, cause, like, you can tell niggas is just pitching out lies out there. Like, if this shit was some type of formally true, everybody be saying this shit. Like, yeah, nah. No nah, my, my wild nigga, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like. Mm-hmm. Oh, bro, I only knew Shabazz, bro. I was trying to do a feature with Shabazz when I was, like, 13, bro. Before mm-hmm. I got serious with rap, he was telling me, like, you too young. You too young and shit. Took a picture with him. Nigga, I took a picture with him throwing up this. What the fuck? We was locked down. Like, what you said, like... This shit ain't like. Come on, and you bro. admit that you was locked and you was fucking with him and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know why he's saying like. Y'all throwing up 1019. Y'all throwing up GS because we locked in like that. When you locked in, you say 1019 X whatever oh. or X whatever 1019. Like, it was mm. never no, oh, I'm OTD. Like, I'm signed under them. And like, no, we was locked in. We, we got locked in through nine and through money. And then that's when I met bro and them and some mm. other niggas, Dono and the Alley and all that. This yeah. ain't had not even nothing to do with bro. Bro was on some whole other shit back then. Like, I don't... Mm, yeah. So, like, whole time, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to stay up no more drama. So, because, you know, he also said that, you know, he, he he ain't got no issue with, you know, Luciano and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, in his previous... I did an interview with him around Livingston, like, nine and shit. And he was just like... He was like, he want to try to get you into the mix of the whole OTD and the homicide, boys. First of all, most kudos is the good man. You know what I'm saying? First of all, yeah, sure. long little wick, man. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, uh, that's first and foremost, but you know what I'm saying? Like, was it like, because I, I asked you this early, was it like kind of a little conflict? Because, you know, you had a relationship with Gunu and you also, you know, was cool with them. Was at that time, because I know at that time it was it was issues. It was, you know what I'm saying? Now it's probably squads now, but at that time, you know what I'm saying? Nah, was it like, that kind of, because that, that kind of started that, too? Nah, how that shit first started, I wasn't never even fucking with, like, this shit was off the strength, like that shit. I, I had a problem with, like, dude and... Guna, it wasn't really no problem because they wasn't like, they wasn't egging it on and I wasn't either, but like we had little words in the beginning, but it ain't never had nothing to do with OTD and them. Like it was long like something like Gunu and them was saying like, and dude was saying like, oh, I was trying to sound like them. This back when like Cavo and them was rapping. Mm-hmm. Like, even they was saying that shit like, yeah, they trying. And we ain't, none of us don't got no problems now or none. Like, yeah, 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 facts. Not none now or none, but like that's what happened back then. Like some little live shit. I think Goon and dude got on live saying like, yeah, like. Try and sound like us or something. I peeped it. You know, I was fucking with them. I don't, I don't, why ain't there no problem? That's when I started having no problem with them when they said yeah, that. So shit. it had nothing to do with you fuck with LTD and mm, nah, like that. No, that shit ain't that. It had yeah. nothing to do with none of that. I already had a problem with bro and them. And then, like, I was fucking with bro and them. I started, I was trying to do the drum with shit bad. I, I think I been was trying to do that before that Don Bino shit. Yeah. That was way before that shit. That Gunu shit with me, Gunu and Ludu, that shit was way before that Don mm-hmm. Bino shit and all that. Yeah, right, right. yeah, that's when I started fucking with LTD, though. Like, that's mm-hmm. when I started fucking yeah, yeah, but then, then now y'all got songs. Then you and Goon had songs together and shit. Yeah, so yeah, see, and they ain't even they ain't them niggas ain't beefing no more. Them niggas been had that shit going with, but I ain't never had nothing to do with that shit in the first place. Like just like you said, like they weren't never trying to put me under nothing and say oh fuck them. Like I was beefing with bro on my own time. Like not beefing, but like I had a problem with Goon and them on my own time. Mm-hmm. Like, this ain't had nothing to do with none. Then he was like, me and him came to our little conclusion. He was like, little bro, like you know me like. I fuck with you and shit. Well, I ain't that even. I wasn't even really trying to say it. Because I was getting into it with his young niggas around the creek and shit. Like, we was getting into it. He had his young niggas going back and forth. Then one day, he finally grabbed the phone. Like, little bro, fuck that shit, bro. I don't got no problem with you. But I'm going to tell them young niggas, go ahead with that shit. And woo, the woo, and all that. That shit mm-hmm. that. Like, and that shit was that. That's how me and bro got. Like, yeah, just yeah. like, cool, mutual, whatever that shit yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. But then, bro and them, being on nine and they end up not having a problem with them later on, I guess, or whatever the case may be when they stop fucking with Q and all of them. I don't know how that shit went. I don't mm. know about none of that shit. Right, right, I've right. never was even really, a, I was never around none of that shit. When mm. I was around them, they was around me. Mm. I was never around none of that shit. Only time I was ever around some OTD shit was when I went around Big 3-0 in the alley to go fuck with Shoot Dog or Benji. Rest in peace, Benji. Rest in peace, my man, Benji. No little Benji. Oh, God. I was going mm. to go fuck with him or nine. I was fucking with nine. That's it. It was mm. never no... None of that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit dead too. That yeah, shit class, yeah. I just want to get, cl- I just want to get some clarifications and shit like yeah, that. You know what I'm bro. saying? 
But after this, I'm not saying nothing else about nothing. They're going to leave it like street. it is. Yeah, that yeah. shit just, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah like, it is what it is. Like, nah, you know, just because your career, career, you know, your career <laughs> finished, nigga, this shit ain't got nothing to do with my career, my boy. That's what you trying to do, bring your shit back to life. I don't know, like, come on, bro. Like, this shit just, like, this shit different, son. Mm-hmm. I can't take it no other way, man. But that shit over with. All that allegation shit, that shit out the window, nigga. My yeah. father niggas know yeah. what's up with me. These bitches know too. I guess I'm gonna come do an interview. You know what I mean? <laughs> they can come vouch for me. You know what I mean? Mm, bruh. Say get a bitch, get a bitch uh, to the man do interview. I might get a nigga BM to come do the interview or something. You know what I mean? Nah, for real, bro. Oh, shit, man. man. Stop playing. <laughs> man, man, all the time. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though. They called me for the interview. I gotta pull up on them too. But I'm gonna make sure. I, You know, I ain't gonna be on no buys, nigga, shit though. I ain't gonna be on. But we gonna we gonna ride this interview, man. Any last words, man? You know what? We'll say that off on a positive note, man. What's your advice and, and, and wisdom for the new rising up and coming artists in the DMV, man? Man, shit. First, I wanna say, long live Sway, long live Andre, long live Savo, long live Brody. Shout mm. out the gang. Shout out all the men. Shout out my my family. Shout out shout out all the bitches that still love me all the dick all the men all the everybody bro shout out everybody that still love me bro we here with it we going mm-hmm. up but shit i ain't got nothing to say to them but keep it going bro I ain't nothing else to say like you know what to do whatever it is you doing working a nine to five you doing music you I don't know. Whatever it is you out here doing, keep it going. As long as it's positive, as long as you getting something out of that shit. Mm-hmm. Keep doing no, that fine. shit to your life now. Man. Definitely appreciate this interview, man. You know what I'm saying? You say you got something new on the way. Yeah, I got some new shit on the way, January 2023. Yeah. Right shit to him, CEO, the album. Yes, nah, facts, nah, facts. for real. Man, I appreciate this, man. It's your boy, Dan V. Hudson News, and we motherfucking gone.